Hey guys, I'm gonna keep the intro short and sweet here. This is an absolute beatdown of a day. Uh, hope you guys make it through the whole video. It's probably gonna be a long one, but uh, it should be worth your time. Enjoy. All right, guys, I cut a bunch of clips out of the video to shorten it up a little bit, but I'm gonna do something different here and commentate over the video in spots to explain what I'm doing. My goal today was actually to jig for rainbows and browns and I ended up catching a nice smallmouth right off the bat on a darter head and that Rapala Crush City freeloader on the back. Uh, I thought it was just a fluke but I ended up catching two more right away so I turned on the GoPro. This is the first time I ever got the whole mid strolling or Demiki rigging technique to actually work for me. Uh, there's a bunch of alewife piled in here. We're on Lake Michigan in this video. And uh, yeah, I was just firing that Demiki rig style bait right up underneath the balls of alewife and shaking it along. So in this clip, I'm just kind of showing what I was looking at on my live scope screen. Um, I run the blue color palette when I'm fishing more open water. It really sucks when you're fishing around structure, everything kind of blows out and it's hard to, hard to watch and know what you're looking at. But if you look closely, you can actually see some smallmouth sitting on the bottom underneath this school of alewife. When you're fishing around smallmouth that are bait fish oriented, whether it be alewife or whatever kind of bait fish you have in your body of water, I think it's super important to make sure you're keeping that bait above their head, not right in their face. Uh, those fish are used to looking up to look for the schools of bait fish and keeping that bait just two, three feet above them makes a big difference. Setup wise here I went with an Alpha Angler wrench, it's a 7 foot medium action rod with a Stratic CI4 plus 3000, 16 pound braid, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I went with the medium action rod over the medium light because when I'm shaking that minnow along I want a nice crisp stiffer tip on that rod so I can really impart the action into that bait properly. This clip is where the whole day kind of changed for me. I picked up that A-rig and started getting it a little bit closer to the pier head and it got pretty wild. If you look closely on the left side of the screen, you'll see the pier head from the last clip. When the Great Lakes get rough, it creates a lot of current. Um, so anything that breaks that current or gives these fish a spot to sit in ambush can load up. These are the two presentations I got fish on. Strike King Titanium A-Rig with the 2.75 inch Rage Swimmers and that Crush City Free Loader 
on a 516 sounds VMC finesse swim bait head. Wisconsin, we're only allowed three hooks, so instead of running dummies, I run two extra willow blades. This helps keep my A rig running properly in the water. No way! Two at a time, baby. Going back to what I was talking about earlier about current, as you can see here, I just keep making the exact same cast over and over, and these fish were just piled up back here. Another good one, dude. You're throwing an area around smallmouth. I think it's a good habit to not really set that hook super hard. Um, if you've smallmouth fished before, you know they almost always have friends. And if you really reef that hook set and you pull that fish away, you kind of take away your opportunity for doubles like this one. Hope you guys enjoyed that video anything you want to see me do in the future comment down below i'm working on being more information based rather than just videos of me catching fish uh if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe i'll have another one coming out soon see you